In general, when animals are on the verge of extinction, it's definitely not something that we would consider to be a good thing. It's usually a tragedy, but back along and all throughout time, animals have appeared, hung around for a couple million years, and met some kind of difficulty and ended up extinct. All before humans ever arrived on the scene at all, and no doubt when we've all jogged on elsewhere as well. This is the way that life rolls. So are there any creatures that we can genuinely say we're happy to not be sharing our planet with today? Well, yes. There are actually plenty. From a snake as big as a school bus to a 24-foot bird with teeth, here are 20 terrifying animals you're glad are extinct. Number 20. Tyrannosaurus Rex, King of the Dinosaurs Kicking straight off with the most obvious, I mean, we're all glad this creature is extinct, aren't we? With a name that means the king of tyrant lizards, you know that this guy was trouble, even if you never saw Jurassic Park. The T-Rex was one of the largest carnivorous dinosaurs that we'd know about, and a member of a family of massive predators with titchy arms and two fingers. The fossils of these gigantic dinos have been found in the western part of North America and also in Asia, which would suggest to dinosaur sciencey people that the T-Rex was an invasive species in the U.S. that made the journey across the continents when the seaway between them receded about 67 million years or so ago. It's a tricky thing to prove, and there are some experts who think the opposite is true. Isn't that always the case? But how glad should we be that these things are extinct? Well, given the fact that the most complete skeleton to have been unearthed measures a colossal 40 feet long, and the animal that once inhabited it was estimated to weigh about 9 tons, I'd say you should be very glad. This thing's skull alone measures five feet, and just look at the size of those teeth. Add to that the fact that they could run between 10 and 25 miles per hour, and we're partial to fresh meat, it's definitely a good thing that we don't have to contend with these monsters, as well as the morning commute. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Titanoboa Now I hope you're not scared of snakes, because if you are, this one's going to give you a whole new nightmare to add to your collection. This is no average serpent. Even the horror movie lengths imagined in Anaconda have nothing on the monstrous reality of this extinct beast. Based on the various fragments and partial skeletons that have been discovered, scientists believe that the Titanoboa was as long as a school bus and weighed as much as a car. They inhabited tropical ecosystems in South America during the Paleocene era, which was after the dinosaurs themselves had gone extinct. Scientists believe that the enormous size of these snakes is a clue to the temperature during the period, and they think that since cold-blooded animals are largest where the temperatures are the most hot at the equator, and they get smaller the colder the climate, that the Titanoboa was such of great size that it indicates that temperatures were likely 10 degrees warmer at the equator than they are today. This boa constrictor type snake crawled the earth a mere 6 million years ago, but is mercifully no longer with us. At 1.25 tons, this thing could just lay on you and crush you to death, and it wouldn't even need to give you a nice squeeze. Number 18. Megalodon. Are you scared of sharks? You may want to shut your eyes if you are. Because the Megalodon was bigger and badder than any of the species that we have in our oceans today. The Megalodon was the most enormous shark that ever lived, and it almost gets the trophy for being one of the largest fish ever as well. It's reckoned that they measured between 15 and 18 meters in length, which is between 50 and 60 feet. That's three times the size of the biggest recorded great white shark. Oh, and their teeth? 
only about seven inches long, and they had 276 of them as well. They don't call this creature one of the megatooth sharks for nothing, you know. The word megalodon itself means large tooth, so I think we all get the idea. I, for one, am pretty relieved that these sea monsters are long gone. I wouldn't fancy a paddle knowing that megalodons were sharing the water. But wait, there are some people out there who actually believe that they might not be quite 100% extinct after all. Although it may seem far-fetched that prehistoric creatures are still skulking around our seas, has anyone actually checked? All of the sea everywhere, that is? Probably not. So for now, let's cross our fingers and think of rainbows and unicorns next time we take to the water. Number 17. Dinosuchus well, if this creature's name is anything to go by, we can all be happy that these things aren't hanging out in our garden ponds. Dinosuchus comes from the Greek meaning terrible crocodile, and that really gets straight to the heart of the matter now, doesn't it? What made this particular crocodile so very terrible then? Well, for starters, the thing was flipping massive. There are estimates that put the range of this monster croc anywhere between 35 to 45 feet long, and this was no skinny reptile either. These ones were colossal. When you consider how very dangerous a modern day regular big crocodile is, you can only imagine what one of this size could do. The bite force of today's crocs is the strongest that's ever been measured at 3,700 pounds per square inch, or enough to bite through steel, three and a half times more powerful than even a lion can muster. So a monster sized jaw? the mind just boggles. Since fossils of these mega crocs have been found all over North America, it's safe to assume that if they had continued to exist and never gone extinct, these animals would likely as not eat you if they encountered you in their territory. So be glad that all that's left behind now is their relatively small cousin, the American alligator, because at least you stand a remote chance against one of those things. Although they do get pretty large themselves, since they never stop growing, and it's only their age that determines their size. Number 16. Sarcosuchus now this mammoth crocodile had a head that was six feet long, just imagine how big the rest of it was. Inside that monstrous head was a terrifying jaw, and in that bone crushing jaw, there were no fewer than 132 huge teeth. That's the Sarcosuchus, related closely to the previous croc on our list, but this one was found primarily in Africa and South America. The sheer scale of this massive monster meant that it could hunt even the largest of dinosaurs, and much like our contemporary crocodiles, it was an ambush predator, able to lie in wait for its unsuspecting prey, to amble too near and then snap the force of its bite powerful enough to break a creature in two. That's a fairly sturdy reason to be pleased that this particular predator shuffled off this mortal coil way back when. Those pesky seawater crocodiles in Africa today get up to plenty of mischief as it is. Number 15. Dunkleosteus this terrifying monster fish was swimming around during the late Devonian period, which was about 350 million years ago, so there probably aren't any of these predators left out there, but have any of you gone and checked? The catchily named Dunkleosteus was a biter. Rather than a regular mouthful of teeth, though, this prehistoric water dweller had two long blades made of bone that would break their prey in half and chop it neatly through its flesh. This big, fat fish also had the strongest bite of any fish, even more powerful than our modern-day sharks, and they had a bite force of an astonishing 8,000 pounds per square inch, which is two and a half times nastier than even our biting champion crocodiles can manage. Believe it or not, this is normal behavior. The Dunkleosteus isn't being sick. When that was combined with the megafish's ability to create enormously powerful suction simply by opening its mouth and sucking its prey inside, then it's easy to see what a deadly F 
efficient top tier predator the Dunkleosteus really was. There's a bunch of fossilized evidence of the diet and behavior of this massive sea monster, and scientists believe that they would eat almost anything that came into their direction, including each other. Yes, these psychos were also cannibals. Number 14. Arctodus. Now, this is a big bear from back along, and it's more commonly been known as the short-faced bear, although the name Arctodus apparently means bear tooth, a cooler and likely more appropriate moniker for this extinct carnivore. Theories abound on the true nature of this big bear, but one thing that's generally agreed upon is that it was a carnivorous creature that was found all across North America during the Pleistocene period. They weighed up to 1,700 pounds and had weirdly long legs. It's these gangly limbs that cause some of the confusion about the animal. Although there's no argument that it ate meat, some scientists actually believe that the diet of the big bear suggested that rather than it being an effective predator, it was more likely a scavenger. The general thinking is that the shape of this bear would have made it difficult for it to chase prey at speeds. Its skinny legs would have been unable to turn while running without the risk of major injuries like broken bones, and a broken bone for a bear usually spells death. So it's more likely that it would have been an opportunistic hunter, a scavenger, and very unfussy about what it would eat in general. Its long legs, although not great in the hunt, would have been good for covering distances and seeking out sources of food across hundreds of square miles. But just because this short-faced bear was not an apex predator as we understand, don't think for one moment that it couldn't kill you with one swipe of a claw and then munch through your bones with its super strong jaw. Yes, it's probably a good thing that this one isn't roaming around anymore. Number 13. Mega Piranha. This is exactly what it sounds like, a big old piranha. And considering just how scary the regular sized version of one of these is, it's probably for the best that these giant ones aren't still out there chomping on anything unfortunate enough to pass their way. The Mega Piranha lived between 8 and 10 million years ago, generally around 28 inches in length, and weighed around 22 pounds. However, there's evidence that they may have grown to as long as almost 40 inches. They had a double row of teeth, unlike the single row that modern piranhas have, but those teeth were just as pointy and definitely as bitey as anything a piranha has these days. And those contemporary piranhas, well, they generally only grow to be between 5 and 14 inches, but they have a row of extremely sharp teeth and an infamously nasty bite. While it may be unlikely that they will swarm a human and strip them of their flesh, it's not actually uncommon for people to be bitten by piranhas, usually on the hands or the feet. The most daring fish decided to take a small bite. And while rarely fatal, it is very unpleasant indeed. The legends of these carnivorous fish are well known, and they aren't completely unfounded, and they're not known for being pacifists, after all. Number 12. Jacolopterus. Do you need some nightmare fuel? Well, look no further. Here we have a gigantic sea scorpion. That's right, an eight foot long insect with a one and a half foot long claw to climb into your dreamscape and give your slumber time a little extra something it didn't have before. This monstrous arthropod lived approximately 390 million years ago. The only other gigantic arthropod was a terrifyingly huge millipede-like creature. But don't worry, we'll get to that one later in the list. This scorpion, despite its nickname, was actually unlikely to have lived in the sea at all. Most of the fossils of this one have been discovered in the layers of rock from freshwater rivers and lakes. It's most definitely extinct, and no doubt you're thrilled to not have to encounter insects that are taller than you. Outside of your terrible dreams, that is. Number 11. Helicoprion. 
The scientists who have been trying to solve the puzzle of the bizarre creature known as the Helicoprion had been beavering away only to discover that some of the pieces were missing from the box and they might never be able to see the whole picture. As frustrating as that might seem, it has made for some extremely creative and interesting interpretations based on the fragments of fossils that have been unearthed from this creature. The name Helicoprion means spiral saw and that is the main chunk of fossil that they were working with. Paleontologists eventually deduced that the circular saw-like thing that they had discovered was most likely positioned in the mouth of this strange, weird sea creature. They decided that it was what they called a whorl-toothed ratfish, or a sort of shark. Helicoprion possessed the strangest jaws that a shark has ever had. It's believed that this mystery creature first appeared in the oceans of Earth about 280 million years ago and then hung around a while, all before going extinct sometime in the early Triassic period. Since no full-sized, complete skeleton fossils have ever been found, the idea of how this creature may have looked are all from the best informed imaginations. Do you have any ideas of where else in the world the spiral saw might have been found and what purpose it actually served? Let us know your ideas in the comments below. Number 10. Andrew Sarkus Good grief, what in the world might this thing be? The Andrew Sarkus is one weird creature that looks like a bizarre combination of a wolf, a leopard, and maybe a sheep. Yet according to research, this carnivorous mammal had more in common with our modern day hoofed animals like goats and sheep than it did wolves or dogs. How weird. Oh, and these things? They were actually massive, measuring out about 18 feet long and standing at around six and a half feet tall and weighed a measly 2,200 pounds. These gargantuan measurements made the Andrusarchus the biggest carnivorous land mammal ever. They were meat-eating scavengers that stalked the land of Inner Mongolia during the middle to late Eocene Epoch, which was around 48 to 41 million years ago. Only one complete skull from an Andrusarchus has ever been found intact, and it turns out that paleontologists have made a whole lot of assumptions and hypotheses based on that single fossil so all this information is still subject to change and remains the source of many a scowling disagreement between academics in woolly jumpers in dusty old museums around the world. So keep watching this space. Number 9. Leopleurodon this enormous sea-dwelling predator was a terrifying creature. The Leopleurodon stalked the seas during the mid to late Jurassic period, which scientists say was around 160 to 155 million years ago. Measuring a gigantic 82 feet long, this marine reptile was a fearsome predator. It had a long nose, flippers, and rows of dangerously sharp, needle-like teeth. The sheer size of the monster meant that very few other sea-dwellers, if any, would have been safe from this animal. Even massive prehistoric sea crocodiles and other pleosaurs would have struggled to defend themselves against one of these nightmares. In fairness, they were omnivorous, but that wouldn't have stopped them from carrying out carnage on the regular rather than nibbling sedately on a tasty piece of sea lettuce. This creature had a lovely long nose, and not just because it was considered handsome and the height of fashion in the Jurassic Seas. No, that snout served a deadly purpose. It could smell out prey underwater, which is especially weird given the fact that this water-based reptile had to breathe air to live. Number 8. For us for kids. It's never a glowing review when you're referred to colloquially as terror birds. So what exactly did these absurdly named creatures do to get such a title? Well, for starters, they're flipping enormous, measuring about 3.3 feet and 9.8 feet tall. And despite the fact that these birds could not fly, they were certainly no penguins. These colossal birds were apparently the largest apex predators in the whole of South America during the Cenozoic 
Mesozoic era, but just how grim are this big bird's credentials? Well, you should certainly be glad that these things are extinct because they were thugs. Massive, angry thugs. Despite the fact that they couldn't fly, the birds could almost certainly run, and very fast indeed. Once they would catch up to their prey, they used a veritable smorgasbord of violent techniques to generally pummel the life out of the poor, unfortunate creature within their grasp. They had a very large and pointy beak, but they didn't bite with them so much as jab, using their powerful neck muscles to peck. Their other signature moves include kicking their prey with their massive feet and slashing at it with their talons. These monster birds were really rather despicable. Number 7. Gigantopithecus the largest ape to ever walk the earth, Gigantopithecus was a distant relation to the modern-day orangutan. But just how and why they died out is not really understood. While there's not actually a huge amount that's known about this primate, what has been established is that these creatures were around 10 feet tall and weighed around 595 pounds so they would cut quite the imposing figure then. The fossils that have been found suggest that Gigantopithecus went extinct about 100,000 years ago in China, but unfortunately there have been very few discoveries of these colossal creatures' skeletons. That may have something to do with the fact that their teeth used to be sold in pharmacies as dragon's teeth. This being a very popular traditional Chinese medicine for curing all kinds of ailments, it could simply be that most of the examples of Gigantopithecus teeth and jaws have been lost in the past through this pharmacy-based distribution system. The teeth that have been discovered do offer some clues to the demise of the huge ape. It's believed that the wear and tear on the molars show that the animal ate a restricted diet of plants exclusively from the forest. But because of its massive size, its food requirements were great, and as their habitat shrank, so did their food source and they simply died out because they were too big to thrive. Number 6. Pelagornis sandersi the massive bird that had a truly enormous wingspan of up to 24 feet, or the height of a two-story building, just for comparison, this is almost twice the size of today's bird with the biggest wingspan, the wandering albatross. So this was a blooming big bird then. The Pelagornis sandersi was flying around the skies about 25 million years ago, and fossils of this mega bird would first be discovered in Charleston, South Carolina back in 1983. Scientists at North Carolina State University in Raleigh have been poking around to see if they can piece together the puzzle of this massive and very extinct bird. What they have established is that these creatures were hanging out all along the ocean fronts of the North American coastline, and frankly, they were a menace. Not in the way that badly behaved seagulls might steal a toddler's ice cream. No, these birds, they had teeth. Oh, and they used them to impale their prey. Truly terrifying, and frankly, you should be glad that these monsters are extinct. Number 5. Edestus As if modern-day sharks weren't scary enough, here's a prehistoric variety that had a uniquely sharp-toothed mouth, the look of which could gnaw into your nightmares and give you some very bad dreams indeed. This is the Edestus also known as the scissor-toothed shark, a name that gets the imagination into gear, that's for sure. The unusual fossils of this animal's jaws have given scientists plenty of sleepless nights, and not because they are so much scared of them as they have been profoundly puzzled. This shark appears to have measured around 20 feet long, but that's not what was unusual about it. There are even sharks around today with similar vital statistics. What caused all the head scratching was actually to be found within the shark's jaw. Modern day sharks will lose teeth and regrow them as they become worn or damaged, but this scissor tooth 
kept a hold of all of their teeth, but grew new ones as well. As the new ones grew, they pushed the older teeth forward and caused them to protrude from the shark's mouth, turning the whole of the jaw area into a set of serrated shears. Whether or not they used their teeth like scissors to chomp up and down on their prey and to chop it into pieces is still being discussed amongst the science nerds. Another terrifying theory that they've suggested is that this shark used its jagged pointy mouth as a battering ram, pounding it straight into its prey and slicing and shearing through the flesh and bone, causing instant bloody carnage. Number 4. Meganeura now, this is possibly the largest insect to have ever lived, and it's a monster. The Meganeura was a dragonfly that was the size of a ruddy great big eagle. Just think about that for a moment. An eagle. That puts the wingspan of this insect at around two and a half feet or more. The most odd thing about them, however, is that other than their size, these titanic insects were basically exactly the same as our contemporary dragonflies. So other than looking scary on the account of their colossal scale, these Meganeura were really just going about their business as you would expect them to, spending most of their lives in the air, landing to mate and lay eggs, and also to hide from predators. Other than that, they were just minding their own business being regular, albeit substantially sized dragonflies. Number 3. Anomala Caris. Now, credit where it's due, this one is weird looking. But before we get all judgy and make a load of assumptions based on its appearance, we should really find out if this long extinct animal was anything to be terrified about. First up, we have the name. Anomala caris comes from the Greek and simply means unusual shrimp, which doesn't sound too scary so far. But when you consider that this sea creature hasn't really been around in 530 million years, then you know it isn't much to spend your days worrying about. Finally though, it turns out that despite those things, it was actually a pretty fearsome predator in its day. The unusual shrimp was also a badass. It grew up to be about six feet long, which is kind of big for a shrimp, and had super sharp vision. This made it a proper scary prospect in all of those prehistoric waters. The shape of it was also well adapted to efficient hunting, with a kind of armored body that undulated to move through the water and a pair of grabbers at the front of its head. This shrimp could use its excellent eyesight to stalk prey silently and then grab a hold of it with ruthless speed. Once caught, the prey could then anticipate a rather unpleasant crushing to death in the shrimp's horrible mouth. Ew. And despite all of its apparent excellent hunting skills and apparent body armor, this creature didn't survive the so-called Great Permian Extinction when 90% of life off Earth suddenly went extinct. Sucks for them, but probably a positive for humans. Number 2. Megatherium A supersized sloth may not sound like the most terrifying of animals. I mean, these things are the cute little sleepy creatures that are often drawn as sweet illustrations on greeting cards and baby clothing, aren't they? Well, it turns out the Megatherium was less cute of a cartoon and more of a colossal carnivore, so put what you think you know about sloths aside for the moment. Back in the early Pliocene epoch, around five million years ago, there was a very particular type of ground sloth that hung around in South Africa. These were up to 10 times the size of today's sloths and could weigh up to four tons. That's right, these things were elephant sized. They also walked around on their hind legs like people do. And this little fact makes it the largest upright walking bipedal mammal that's ever lived. Although not strict carnivores, the general shape and structure of the Megatherium suggests that they likely hunted other animals as well as gathered food from their habitats. Despite how scary the sheer size of these sloths may seem, they did actually cross over with early humans for a while, and guess what? They didn't win. In fact, there's evidence that people were eating the Megatherium rather than the other way around. 
Number one, Anthropleura. And here we are, as promised, the gigantic millipede. Well done for hanging on for all that time. I know it's what you've been waiting for. The Arthropleura lived in North America and Great Britain during an era known as the Carboniferous Period. And yes, this insect was 20 foot long as a millipede with a body that was made up of 30 armored plates with a pair of legs under each and every one of them. They ate dead wood and leaves and thrived due to the concentration of oxygen in the atmosphere on Earth at the time. And this is what scientists believe caused these creatures to grow such a remarkable size. Without much in the way of vision, the monster insect probably had heightened senses of smell and touch, all so that it could find food and sense other animals around it. Despite the fact that this was the largest invertebrate to have ever lived, it seems that the Arthropleura was a vegetarian, and the only thing to fear from this humongous animal is when it crawls across your face while you're sleeping. What weird and wonderful creatures have we been lucky enough to avoid in our time on Earth? There are some real horrors out there for sure, and plenty to fuel some vivid and sweaty nightmares for those of you who are that way inclined. Which one's given you the willies? Also, don't forget to let us know about your elaborate nightmares in the comments below. Check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.